Hey, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be using, as you've seen in the title, Pantene. I've been seeing a lot about this brand um, and the company, well not the company, but the people behind it. And I love the message behind it. I love that it's people that look like me that are making a product for people like me. Um, so I really wanted to kind of just dive in to see, is it really worth the hype? because people are hyping it. And I really wanna know, because if it is, I need to make sure that I'm using these all the time because people's hair just looks really nice and they talk about how soft it is and how good it smells. So I really wanted to just see what's really going on with this Pantene thing. So I have pretty much everything out of the collection. Um, I do not have a deep conditioner. So I'm going to be using a different deep conditioner because I. I can't skip a deep condition. I, I need it. So if I don't have it, gotta use it somewhere else. But um, so we're just gonna go ahead and dive in. I'm going to wet this hair because under here it is a dry jungle, girl. But I'm gonna go ahead and wet this and we're gonna start with the shampoo. So I finished washing my hair and I used the, what's that called, um, the Moisture Boost Conditioner. I'm going to wait until the end to give my feelings on everything. Um, you may have seen a reaction or two, you may have not, not sure. And so now I'm going to go in with the Leave On Detangling Milk. And I've never heard of a Leave On. I wonder if there was a reason that they call it that. And if you guys see like these little marks on the products, I ordered these from Target and because they have to tape and seal and zip tie everything, like you can kind of tell where they taped it. I have to open this because I haven't used any of these products. And they all do smell very good. Oh, this is very, seems like it's very lightweight. That was probably too much. <laughs> for this section. Sometimes I get a little heavy handed, but it's okay. So I'm using the leave on detangling milk. And then I'm also going to use for my styler, the curl defining pudding. And so I tried something off camera, obviously, um, a little while ago where I did smaller sections for my twist out to see if that would help my hair to be more full but still have like the elongation um, from whatever I'm doing, like the twist out, three strand twist, braid out, whatever. And I did find that the smaller sections did help. So I'm gonna try to do some smaller sections um, with this twist out just because I really, I like big hair. If my hair doesn't get big, then I'm like, Aw. I don't want to rule out every style that doesn't get big as being a fail because that's not necessarily the case. Like sometimes it can be operator error or sometimes like my hair is just on the thinner side. So it's not always gonna look like everyone else's. And that's something that I do kind of, you know, you have to work through and get over because you want your hair to be, you know, big and have a lot of volume and all the definition and that might not be you know your hair type or it might not be where your hair is right now at it at that length so that is something that I'm working through right now too but like I said I'm just gonna go through smaller 
sizes. And the way that this looks, I want to come up close, but it seems like this pudding, even though it's kind of light, seems like it's packing a heavy punch. So I like the way that my hair looks with this pudding in it already. So I'm assuming that it's about to be really, really good. And I'm just gonna do a regular twist out. I was gonna do a three strand twist, but I feel like that'll take a long time to dry. And I don't wanna necessarily go through that right now. So I'm just gonna continue to just do my regular twist out with my little bantu on the end. And we'll see what happens when I take it out. So this is the final look and I keep smiling because I absolutely love it. I just need to go through all the products like I said that I would before I start to get sidetracked by this hair. So <laughs> let's jump on in. So as far as the shampoo goes, this was a really, really good shampoo. I love the way that it moisturized. It was not stripping at all when I was putting it on. It felt really nice, but then once I rinsed it out, that moisture, it was almost like as I was rinsing it out, the product was locking in the moisture that I was using to rinse my hair out with. Because when I was massaging it in, I didn't have a lot of moisture like it didn't feel like it was like extremely soft or anything it just felt nice but not like super soft but then once I rinsed it out it was so soft and it just the moisture was just like like trapped and I loved it so I could definitely see myself reaching for this again um, definitely putting it in one of my 
as one of my staples for shampoo. Um, spoiler alert, I feel like this brand was worth the hype. I'm just gonna go ahead and say that now because it is. So then I moved on to the Moisture Boost Conditioner and this, I saw a lot of um, great reviews for this, but honestly, it didn't really do too much for me. When I put it on, I couldn't really feel that it was on. Um, I combed through my hair, I made sure that it was detangled. It still didn't do too much. And I was wanting it to give like even more moisture. So the shampoo left my hair feeling, like I said, super soft and moisturized. And I wanted this to just be like another step. And I feel like it didn't do that for me. Um, so this this was just okay. And I know a lot of people rave about this specific product, but yeah, it was just okay for me. And then like I said, I did a deep conditioner, which doesn't matter. Um, and then I used the Leave On Detangling Milk. What I will say is this is extremely moisturizing. It has really good slip. That's where that detangling comes in and it feels amazing on your hair like this made my hair feel even softer i felt like i could definitely just use this if i needed to do like a quick um style and just have my hair be moisturized like i'm not looking for well i don't even know if it gives definition because i use the pudding but i know that my hair would be moisturized for a really long time and the thing that I liked with both this and the pudding is I continued to feel the moisture. So even after I washed the product off my hands, my hands still feel like really soft and moisturized and I, I actually like that. So I really, really, really would recommend this and I love this. This pudding. <laughs> this pudding. So first of all, so I showed or I tried to show. I don't know if it actually came through on camera, but I tried to show the texture of this and it's like a watery, jiggly type of um, cream, I guess you could say. And this reminds me a lot of a custard, which I didn't think that until after it dried. So if you look close enough, you may see some flakes, but I also think that's because I overused this product because it was really just like going straight into my hair. So I was like, ooh, this isn't enough. Let me add a little more. And especially back here, I used a lot because this is my tighter section. And so I used a lot and I could see a lot of flakes back here, but also a lot of definition. This, the definition, the softness, the hold, the volume that the vo the volume that you can still get with this this if I had to pick a favorite and it's tough I'm not I'm not even gonna sit up here and lie like it is tough but this like you can see for yourself this definition that's happening and the softness is still there you can feel the hold and you can feel your curls but the softness and the moisturized feeling is still there I absolutely love this product. If you don't try anything else out of the line, I want you to try the whole line. I want you to try it all for yourself. But if you could had to only pick one thing, this would be it. And another absolutely amazing thing is this hydrating oil. I honestly thought that this was going to be just another, you know, just regular oil. But first of all, it's extremely thick, like a gel. Let me see actually you see how can you see it I can't even see it no waste some products it's almost like it's more of a serum than an oil it's like a oil it's like a gel oil if that makes sense the consistency is is like a gel but then it melts down to an oil but then you still have the softness and the it's hard to explain but it's really 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 good like I absolutely love this like this and once again I thought it was just gonna be like a regular oil like it wasn't gonna be anything fancy to it but this is real good 
And so there are two other things that I haven't um, gotten to use yet. The hydrating buttercream and the curl awakening spray. So once this gets old, I'm pretty sure I'll be reaching more than likely for both of these um, just to kind of refresh my hair. This is what happens when you have people that look like you making products for you. This is what happens. I know, like you can look back through my videos and see me do twist outs. Now one thing I do think that helped was I did smaller sections, I did smaller twists because I think that sometimes that can help, help especially because my hair is thinner and it helps to keep that definition there and have less frizz. However, the products definitely, definitely play a huge role. Um, and these products are not super expensive at all. Um, I just, you, you need them. You need them. <laughs> if I were to tell you um, to get anything, if you could get more than one product, I would say get these three. Get the leave-on detangling milk, get the hydrating oil, and then the curl defining pudding. Because I feel like this is what's going to help set you up for an amazing style. Um, because one, like I said, the moisture and the softness from my hair, unmatched. But then also, the pudding, it's thin but it has a big punch so you don't like I said you don't need a lot or you'll get a little flaking um, but also it dries fast so if you know you have somewhere to go or it's like man I know that I need to get this done kind of quickly I need to be able to do my hair set it and take it out kind of within the same day this would be the way to go because I sat under the dryer for an hour and I felt that it was already pretty much dry. Like the only thing that really needed to like continue to get dry was like my roots. But if I wanted to take this out in the same day, I waited till the next day, but that's just because I was being lazy. But if I wanted to take it out the same day, I could have. Or if I know that I need somewhere to go and like need a style that's gonna be reliable, I feel like I could recreate this again. Sometimes I walk away from styles like, oh, I wish I could remember what I did because of whatever like I don't know what products I used or whatever like this definitely this regimen <laughs> will be continued to be getting used in my hair because this feels amazing I absolutely love it I feel like I'm about to start just rambling on about it but it is incredible I would definitely encourage you to go out and try it on your own so that leads me to have you tried it do you love it do you do you love it? Because <laughs> I know If you have any questions or comments, you know the drill. Put them in the comment section below. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.